Hey there, it's Shannon Magic Myers, and today we'll be looking at an example relating to a linear differential equation model. So I actually did a series of parts for this video, so to break it up, since we developed these ideas in the section 1.3 video, I'm not going to go over that again. We're just going to go straight through and solve. So there's actually going to be, I don't know, six or seven little videos that will comprise section 3.1. Cool, cool? All right, so here we go. The first example deals with population of bacteria in a culture growing at a rate proportional to the number of bacteria present at time t. After three hours, it is observed that 400 bacteria are present. After 10 hours, 2,000 bacteria are present. What was the initial number of bacteria? So we've done some problems kind of like this in our earlier math life, but you were already given the you know exponential uh, function that modeled this, or you might have had to find k, you know, or t before. So if we let p at t equal to p, that's population at time t, we've been given that um, the derivative with respect to t of p is equal to some constant times the amount of bacteria present at time t. So we'll just say p to make it easy. And now notice that if you take a look at this, it's a little weird because we've used p of x before to denote our integrating factor, so we won't do that. We'll just go straight into the integrating factor. We're, um, our function is determined in terms of, is defined in terms of p. So if we take a look at this, we could say that dp dt plus negative k times p equals zero. And so we use the coefficient to the p to find our integrating factor. So our integrating factor, because it's linear in form, e to the integral negative k dt will just be e to the negative k times t. Good so far? And then multiplying both sides by that integrating factor, e to the negative kt. On the left side, we will end up getting, remember that trick where you write it as d dt of this product. So you have e to the negative kt times p, wherein if you differentiate that product with respect to t, you'll get what's inside these brackets. On the other side, we're just going to get zero. So now, rewriting, we'll have e to the negative kt times dp is equal to zero dt, which looks a little bit odd, but when we integrate both sides, on the left side, we'll get e to the negative kt is treated as constant times p. And then that's just going to equal to our constant of integration. If you had had a constant and you differentiated it, you would have zeroed it out. So we'll just say this is our constant of integration. Now, that means that we will get p is equal to, this time if you multiply both sides by e to the positive kt, you'll clear out that exponential on the left side, or you could divide both sides by e to the negative kt and simplify. We will get p on the left side is equal to c e to the kt. Now, if we go ahead and we let C be called something special, as in our P0, our initial population, then we would have P 
at some time t is equal to p0 e to the k t. So we have our model. Good so far? So that's the first part of what we needed to do. Now, what we also need to do here is we need to find our k. So we've been given some order pairs here, right? So if we take a look over here, I'll block this one off, right? And we take a look at the fact that we have the order pair 3, 400, right? Then we can write P at 3 is equal to 400. And so using our general formula here, we would have T equal to 3. So 400 would equal to P0 E to the K times 3. And then looking at our other order pair, which was after 10 hours, 2,000 bacteria were present. We'd have P at 10 is 2,000. And then that would give us 2,000 equals P0E to the K times 10. All right, putting the two together, we have 400 is to 2,000 as P0E to the 3K is to P0E to the 10K. And then simplifying, we would have, let's see, the zeros will divide out. So we would have 1 fifth on the left side, the P zeros divide out. And then when you subtract 3K from 10K, our exponent will be negative 7K. All right, so finding the natural, evaluating the natural log at both sides. Natural log at 1 fifth ends up being negative natural log at five using properties of logs because natural log at one is zero and you'd have the difference of natural log at one minus natural log at five. And this would end up being negative seven K. So then natural log at five divided by seven is equal to K. And now we have the next step of our equation. So now we have P at T is equal to P zero E to the natural log at five all divided by seven times T. So if we go ahead and we find, we because we want to find P zero, so you can use either ordered pair. So this would be the next step. So going back and using that first ordered pair, which was three comma 400, we can say, all right, well, P at three is equal to 400, right? So 400 is equal to P zero E to the natural log at five all over seven times three, plugging in three for time. And so we would have 400 equals P zero E to the three natural log at five over seven. And then when you, once you isolate P0, you'll get approximately 201 bacteria is what we started with. All right, so uh, go ahead and go to part two when you're ready. This was our first, our first part of section 3.1.
I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching this show. And if you like what I'm doing, hey, hit that like button and subscribe. Bye.